Hey you guys and welcome back. Today I wanted to share with you all of my favorite nude lipsticks for olive skin tones. I am half Filipino, half German, so I do have a medium olive skin tone. I wanted to just share my favorite nudes with you that I feel like work really well with my skin tones. I'm going to be swatching all of these uh, nudes on my lips and on the back of my hand so you guys can see them both ways. I do have a couple videos out that I feel like are a little bit similar, like I have a warm and rosy nude lipstick favorites video and I have a terracotta lipstick favorites video. Both of those contain some lighter shades that could be considered nudes, but I wanted to keep this video to strictly lighter nude shades. Hope you guys enjoy this. I'm thinking about doing brown lipsticks next or grayish lipsticks. Let me know if either of those would be of interest to you. And that's everything. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I want to start off with the lightest, I think, and then go to the deepest. So the first one, it's from the Maybelline Buffs collection and it's in the shade 945 Stormy Sahara. This is a straight up nude on me. It has a really pretty gloss to it. It just makes your lips look plump and juicy and I love the shade because it has a bit of a warmer undertone and I find that a lot of nudes are either too pinky for my skin tone or too like cool toned and pale. So I really like this one because it is still nude but it has a little bit more peach and warmth to it than like a cooler toned or just a pinkier nude. Comfortable formula, it lasts a long time and I really like it. The next one is from Rimmel. This is one of their Moisture Renew and it's in the shade 730 Nude and the City. I have talked about this one quite a bit on my channel and as you can tell I've used up, I mean you probably can't tell, but I have used this quite a bit. This one is more of a pinky nude, but I find that it's deep enough that it doesn't wash me out. Sometimes like the pinkier, paler nudes, they wash me out. But this one I feel like works for my skin tone and I do sometimes like having a pinkier nude even though I just raved about Stormy Sahara, which was more peach. This one is also super shiny. It's super comfortable. I feel like it does have more moisture in it than other lipstick formulas. Like it doesn't feel drying on my lips at all. It has a really nice shine to it and it's just overall a good lipstick. Would totally recommend you give it a try. I feel like it's a super underrated lipstick formula at the drugstore. Next up is from Milani. This is actually a matte lipstick. This is Milani's Matte Naked. This one smells so good. It smells like vanilla. It smells delicious. Delicious. It's also a super good formula. This one is a little bit more mauve, I think, than the other ones I'll show you. It's got a little bit more of like a dusty vibe to it, but I really like it. It's deep enough that it works for my skin tone. It has such a nice, nice formula. Probably one of the best matte formulas at the drugstore. It's not drying, but it lasts a long time and it gives your lips this super nice velvety matte finish. If you haven't tried any of these Milani mattes, I think you should. They're a really great formula. I only have like three liquid lipsticks out of the nine or ten, nine lipsticks that I'm going to share with you today. This one is the NYX Lingerie in the shade Push Up. I feel like it's quite similar to Matte Naked by Milani, but it's a little bit more warm and less mauve. It's such a nice tone. I feel like I don't wear it enough. It's such a good color. It's perfect for every day. I love the formula from the NYX Lingeries. I don't think they last a long time, but they are nice and matte. They're very thin and lightweight. They don't dry on my lips a lot, which is nice. They have so many nudes. I bet there are tons in their selection that in their range that would work for an olive complexion. Some of them I have talked about in the terracotta and the warm nudes video that I posted already, so I'm not gonna talk about them in this one, but definitely give Push Up a try. If you're looking for that perfect like hybrid between peach and pink, another Liquid lipstick formula. This is L'Oreal's Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nudist. They're all gonna kind of look the same, but they all are, are a little bit different. This is probably my longest lasting 
liquid lipstick formula out there. It's not drying and the pigmentation is great, not streaky or anything. Actually, it's really, really similar to Push Up. It's maybe a little bit more cool toned. I feel like it still doesn't wash me out that much. I don't know why I swatched it right on like my bone. That was a dumb move. If you haven't tried a L'Oreal Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick yet, definitely give it a try. And the next one is one of my favorite everyday lipsticks and this one is also from Milani, but this one is in the shade 25 Naturally Chic. This one's definitely more rosy and deep than the other shades. If I have a tan or something, then this is just perfect. It is, like I mentioned, a little bit rosier, but it's still a nude in my opinion. I love the way this looks on my skin tone. I think it works really well with warm undertones. Love the formula of these. The only bad thing is the smell. I have talked about the smell before though and that I don't like it, but other than that, the formula is great. Pigmented, long wearing, definitely not matte, so it will give your lips a nice shine. It's just the perfect cream lipstick at the drugstore. Okay, the next one is the last liquid lipstick that I'll share with you today, and this is the Physicians Formula Healthy Lip Velvet Finish Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bear With Me. This one's actually pretty similar to uh, Naturally Chic, except that it's lighter and more peach, I think. Such a good formula. This is a liquid lipstick, but I consider it more of like a velvet matte in a liquid lipstick form. It doesn't feel like anything on your lips. It honestly feels very fluffy and light, not drying at all. Definitely a good formula. If you're somebody who doesn't like drying or matte, liquid lipsticks. Physicians Formula does have a lot of different kind of like nudie shades in their range, but Bear With Me is the only one, a nude one that I have, and I think it works really well with my skin tone. These two I'm kind of going to combine into one because they're very, very similar. The first one is the Milani Moisture Matte in the shade Matte Beauty, and the second one is the Maybelline Into Matte in the shade Raw Chocolate. So both of these are a brownier nude. Oh my gosh, I made my swatches too big. Now I don't know where to put them. They're definitely more of a warmer brown nude, but still light enough that I consider it a nude, not a brown. This is raw chocolate swatched right there. And then I'll do matte beauty right beside it. So like I said, these are extremely similar in shade. Honestly, can't tell the difference when they're on your lips. I feel like maybe Matte Beauty is a little bit darker, but honestly, you cannot tell the difference. You don't need to buy both. Maybelline Into Matte Nudes, I feel like, are so underrated out of Maybelline's line. This is such a good formula. It is creamy. It is matte. It feels really nice on your lips, and I just think it's such an underrated formula at the drugstore. Probably my favorite lipstick formula that Maybelline has. I actually think these two shades would work on every skin tone. If you have a deeper skin tone than me or a lighter skin tone than me, or even if you have a cooler undertone, I feel like these would work for you. I just think that it's a flattering color. I feel like I twisted my arm trying to show you guys those swatches in the close-up. Last but not least is the NYX Full Throttle Lipstick in the shade Kiss the Dust. Another underrated formula from the drugstore. This is such a good formula. This is basically a liquid lipstick in a tube form. Waterproof, long-lasting, pigmented, and also really nice and matte. So this one is kind of on the same train as Push Up from NYX and the L'Oreal Nudist one. It's pretty similar, but it's deeper and more brown, I guess. It would definitely work with a deeper skin tone. It's got a little bit of a dustier vibe to it. I feel like this is such a good lipstick for fall because it doesn't dry on my lips, but it has like a richness to it that some of my like summerier shades don't. It also does not transfer. Like what tube lipstick does not transfer? They all do except for this NYX one. I feel like this became an underrated drugstore lipstick video. But anyway, moved my Milani one matte beauty down here to make it a little bit easier to show you guys in the close-ups. But that sums up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that you found it helpful, especially if you have a similar skin tone to me or if you just like nude lipsticks. Lately, I've been really into nudes versus like deeper, brighter colors. Sometimes I really like bold lipsticks, but I don't know, lately, I've just been liking more neutral, nude, or even just like glosses. So I hope this video was helpful. Let me know what your favorite nudes are, or if you do have a similar complexion to me, let me know which ones work for you that I didn't mention here, because I would love to try them out. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you would like to see more videos, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!